guys, it's me, Stormy, and here is your weekly horoscope for the week of June 25th. This is one of the busiest weeks of the year. We've got some pretty serious action going on. We've got a couple squares happening this week. We've got Mars going retrograde. We've got a sign change coming up, and the full moon is in a very serious mode this week, so we have got some stuff going on. So let's jump right in and talk about it, get you into the information, and get you out doing what you do, okay? Get you out there being a humble hustler, right? So what we've got going on here is at the beginning of the week, Venus and Jupiter, who are our biggest and both benefic planets, right? Jupiter's our biggest, um, Venus is our smaller benefic planet. Benefic meaning of benefit, right? So wherever they are, they like to bring good stuff. Right? There's a very indulgent, expansive kind of energy. Now, when these two are in a square for each other, it's terrible for actually getting serious work done. It's really not very good. It's great for being social. It's great for doing all these other things, but it's terrible for actually getting any serious work done because the energy is just not there. Now, where it's also kind of a trip is that you have to watch what you're eating, how you're eating. Pay attention to those things. This is a very indulgent energy. Before you know it, you've had a 7,000 calorie day. You have just jumped off of that diet or jumped off of that way of eating that is best for you, which then in turn can cause health complications, issues, that tummy ache, whatever it is for the night, right? Now, the other thing it puts us in grave danger of, as a matter of fact, is spending too much money, right? That luxury item you decided this time you have to to have it. And I'm telling you, give it just a little bit of time. Let these two get out of the square from each other and then that energy can move on. And you're probably going to have a lack of um, desire for that particular item or you'll be asking a lot more questions about investing in that luxury item, something like that. Now, depending on where this is sitting in your chart, I will tell you there's a positive to it. If you've been wanting to do something for a while and you've been putting it off, I don't have the money, I can't, I can't, I can't, and the opportunity goes around, this could be the time where you just say, F it, I'm doing it, I don't know, I don't know how this is going to work out, the universe will provide, abundance be mine, you know what I mean? And you just jump out there and do it. So you do need to look at how this is sitting in your chart, but just know that this is a little bit of a temptation to go overboard, okay? We get here to Tuesday, June 26th, and Mars, our planet of action, energy, assertion, initiation, movement, is going to go retrograde. So we are going to come into a cosmic stall. We are going to slow down, and that is every single one of us, but most specifically, if you have Aries placements, Aquarius placements, or Scorpio placements right now, I think you're really going to feel the weight of this. But when this happens, it's going to last, first of all, until the end of summer. It goes all the way until August 27th. So in in this cosmic slowdown that we have, it is a time where you're not going to be initiating new things. The things that you're going to be pushing forward are ones you've already been working on. So don't worry about that. I get that question all the time. Hey, I've had this business plan in place for all this long. Is this the wrong time to continue to try and move forward with it? No, it's a great time. Keep moving forward and make sure you where you need to redo actions, rethink something, something like that. It's actually very good to help you. Now, if you're thinking, okay, during this Mars retrograde, I'm going to launch this brand new business out there. It's the first time I've got this idea. You're going to run into obstacle, 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 likely, okay? Now, again, this depends on your chart, but that's kind of the vibe of this energy. And I want to put out the reminder again, if it is an elective surgery, if you can avoid doing it while Mars is in retrograde, that is a very good thing for you to do because Mars is a warring energy and surgeons and surgery cutting is considered war, okay? It's considered slicing, things like that. So if you can avoid them, you just take obstacles out of the way. Plus, Mars being a planet of energy, you want him as forward and in your favor for healing as you can get him, right? So just kind of consider that. It's also a time where you don't want to be buying new mechanical things if you can't avoid it because Mars is over all of these little teeny tiny crinkly parts. So if you can avoid those things, it is best. What do you want to use this Mars retrograde time for? Redo, rethink, re-edit, re consider things that you hadn't before, okay? You will also be during this Mars retrograde, I think, re- looking at issues of sexuality, whether it's your sexuality, whether it's the gender fluidity conversation, which is really not new in other places in the world, but in the United States, we're acting like it's the first time we've ever heard about it. Um, any of those things could be things that are on your agenda because Mars is also the planet of sexuality. So keep that in mind. We're gonna be looking at that. Oh, I wanna throw this in there too because it just popped in here. If you have been wanting to do a leadership training or work on something that has to do with leadership, 
this is a wonderful time to reevaluate and reassess that as well. Now we get to the 28th, which is Thursday this week, and we've got the full moon happening in Capricorn. This is a serious moon. This is a moon where you're going to reset those emotions and adjust or acknowledge something to get it in alignment with achieving. We want to get things done. So at this full moon, so things that have been outstanding could be completed. Things could be coming to a culmination. You could have a project or something that you're working on, and this is the one. You really want it to work out. You really want the relationship. You really want the job. You really want this project. You really want this whatever to work out, and you see where you maybe need to adjust something. Now, the other thing that I think happens at this particular moon, and you can watch all about it in my full moon in Capricorn video, is that this could be a moon that is a little bit more depressing for some people because some realities may rise to the surface and it kind of pops your imaginary bubble because Saturn, that Saturn Capricorn energy puts you solidly in some reality, but it is useful. This is nothing to be fear fearful of. It is something to absolutely use, okay? Now, on the same day, we've got the shift of Mercury moving into Leo. So this is a very expressive energy. Our communications become um, intense a little bit. They become... Um, focus. There's a little bit of drama here. There's a lot of pride that goes into these things. So I'm telling you, at this moon, if things come up, don't let your pride get in your way. You know what I mean? Half the time, our hearts know the truth way before our heads catch up. So if things come up for you or you need to adjust along with this moon, that's okay. Let it go. But the other thing I think Mercury and Leo is absolutely delicious for is expressing yourself. Be bold. Say it with your chest out. Kevin Hart, right? Say it with your chest out. What do you have to say? What do you want to share? Mercury and Leo, express your joy. Leo is a joyful energy. So let's let some things out. Also a great time if you have to have any conversations with children or you want to have a fertility conversation, I think this is a wonderful energy as well. Now, here's the thing. Mercury is scheduled to turn into its retrograde here in July, so we're going to see this Mercury and Leo energy for a while. So it's going to be a good long time of people speaking their minds because you're not the only one under this influence. So we could have a lot of bold conversation coming out. You could definitely see some drama flare. And let me tell you what, if the full moon reveals that you've got a project that, yes, could be the project and you can achieve it, but you've got people, places, or things on board that are holding it back from success, you might have to speak up, and this might be a little bit of a dramatic conversation because Leo is a fixed energy. It does not want to let go. So you may find yourself in a position where somebody's saying, well, I'm not letting go. I'm not leaving. I'm not giving up. You could be the person who's like being stubborn, being too grounded down, and you don't want to let go of the way you think it should be. Let go of what you think it should be so that it can be what it's supposed to. That's something I would tell you this week. That's what it takes to be a humble hustler out there, right? Let it go. Let the flow happen, right? Now, there is something that I think causes a little bit of upset as we get to the week here. It looks like on Saturday the 30th, we've got Mars and Uranus in a square. Now, this one for me, um, excuse me, Mercury and Uranus in a square. Mercury being such a mental planet, Uranus being such an electric energy. The thing that comes to me is there, there could be some um, anxiety. This is, could be kind of an anxious energy, but at the same time, why it could be anxious, it could be low grade, you know, maybe nothing that causes a fever, but it could be definitely something that has you a little on edge. And I know sometimes when these two have this interaction, I feel like, I don't know what it is, but I know something's happening. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it. So if it's that day and it feels that way, that's okay. Because sometimes, much to my surprise and delight, um, it's something really great, right? Something uh, surprising comes about to me that's really positive or that I perceive to be positive, right? But whatever it is, this is also a very surprising energy. So where I would also say use this square is a square puts us under so much pressure that we can't stay under it anymore. We have to take a new action to get out of that box. We can't stay here. This action and this belief isn't working anymore. So the square squishes us in right and tight so that we have to explode out, right? So in this, you could be having some entirely innovative thinking. You could be having some brand new idea that pops into your head as a solution to something you've been trying to get going or moving forward or get out of. So pretty interesting. It's kind of a serious energy um, of the week of getting things done, except for at the beginning of the week when Venus and Jupiter are like, I can't work. <laughs> so keep in mind this week, you guys, that
that there's a lot of adjustment happening this week. It is a very busy week and we are officially going to change our speed of life this week. So make sure you make the proper adjustments to your mentality, your perception, and your willingness to participate in a new reality. So get out there this week, my beautiful friends. Be humble hustlers. And I will see you beautiful friends next week. Make sure you like, comment, share this video, subscribe to my channel. If I can help you with a natal chart, if you don't have that to look at these placements, come and see me and get one or get one somewhere so that you can join the conversation. And if you, it's time for reading, time for a check-in, you're not sure where this Mars energy is really going to affect you, come sit with me. I would be happy to walk you through, explain it, and get you a, a little bit of strategy to help you make the most of this summertime retrograde energy. Because the last thing that any of us want to do is waste a retrograde. It is just too delicious for making progress in our lives forward, okay? I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next week. Bye!